Thank you. From dragonflies to dividing cells to the human heart, life is in motion. motion. And in all of these examples, that motion is due to a tiny protein called myosin. The motion of this protein in heart muscle is what I study. But there's a problem. It's so small and so fast, you can't actually see it under a microscope. So how do we study it? Two-part answer. First, how does anyone study motion? From sports medicine to animated film, people attach probes to actors and athletes and track the motion of the probes. Second is this guitar. See, it's been modified with sympathetic strings. They're diagonal. And amazingly, these strings are never actually plucked or played. But when the traditional strings are plucked and the instrument begins to resonate, energy transfers to these sympathetic strings and they produce sound. You can hear the difference between an instrument with and without them. I combine these two ideas to the study of this protein. We attach two probes. And the green probe is just like a traditional guitar string. We pluck it with a laser pulse, and it glows for a short time afterwards. It's fluorescent. The red probe is just like a sympathetic string. We never actually pluck it, but if it's close enough to its neighbor, energy can transfer, and it glows as well. You can see the difference. This technique allows us to track the motion of the protein in real time, every millionth of a second. And it's a lot like an automatic sync. Right? When your hands are close, it turns on, and when they're far away, it turns off. And just like an automatic sync has a sensor, we call this setup a sensor, a biosensor for motion. But why do this? This technique is so precise, we can use it to distinguish between healthy protein and mutated protein that leads to heart failure. And in addition, I've shown we can use it to determine what, if any, effect heart failure drugs have on this motion. In addition, this technique is so fast, we can use it to screen thousands of heart failure drugs for their effect in a single day. In the Thomas lab, I get to ask and answer questions about the motion of muscle with a technique powerful enough to discover and analyze heart failure drugs. Thank you.